2017. Ihn kennt ihr vielleicht noch aus dem World Youth Championship Finale von 2015, als er damals gegen Max Hopp verloren hat. Inzwischen ist er 25 Jahre alt, ist die Nummer 138 der Welt. Die Rede ist von The Asp, Neffen Aspinel. Nathan Espinel tritt gegen den erfolgreichsten Spanier in der Sportart Darts an, als er 2015 bei der Weltmeisterschaft im Alexandra Palace das Achtelfinale erreichte. Da schrieb er tatsächlich spanische Dartsgeschichte. Aktuell steht er auf Weltranglistenplatz Nummer 30. Die Rede ist von The Spartan, Cristo Reyes! Und Caller dieser fünften Partie ist der Puppy George Noble. Er resumes on day two of the European Darts Match Play here in Hamburg. Four seeded players out of four already booking their place in the last 16 on the final day of action tomorrow. Christo Reyes hoping to make it five from five, but he's up against a man who wasted a little time yesterday. The fastest victory of the opening day for Nathan Aspinall beating Chris Quantock 6-3 in a little over 16 and a half minutes. Plenty to admire about that performance by Aspinall yesterday. It was a tough force, hard force encounter. Wasn't too emphatic on his doubles though, but there was plenty to admire elsewhere. Paul Nicholson alongside me for this one. Yeah, I really enjoyed the game yesterday between Chris Quantock and uh, Nathan Aspinall. I thought it was a good advert for the younger generation and the pace of the game suits the neutral fan. And Nathan's got a lot to offer this game in a very young first career. First leg, to throw first. Game on. But he's up against someone who I feel is waiting to strike, waiting to have his best performance of the season so far. Yeah, certainly. Couldn't agree more, actually. And <laughs> we'll let the darts do the talking. You don't need me to back it up, we'll just like watch uh, Reyes down rattle in the first 180 off the match with the very first visit. 96. I'll uh, just put my little monologue on hold for a moment just to see what uh, Reyes can back it up with if it's anything significant. 59. And it's not. So there we go. Something for everyone as far as Reyes' the start to this match is concerned. But you're right, he's been knocking on the door. Uh, on the European Tour in particular this year. Four third round appearances so far this year in his quest for a first Euro Tour quarter-final. Has made two quarter-finals on the Pro Tour this year, one in the UK Open qualifiers and the other at the very first Players' Championship event of 2017 where he lost 6-5 to James Wade. 76. But Reyes in the blink of an eye here. He was looking for two treble 17s and double 16 there. Well, he'll take that as Nathan's way back. But Crystal will be very displeased with the way that Spain performed last week. He knows that Mr. Alcinus, his pairs partner, who was eliminated from the competition yesterday, they can play better, but it's all about singles now. 58. Nathan, you record 131. Yeah, I mean, Reyes satisfied his side of the equation, beating Harith Lim 4-1 in uh, Spain's 2 on defeat by Singapore. 51. In the last 16 of the World Cup. They beat Japan 20. in the opening round in the doubles. That uh, started the whole tournament off. Double five. In the first leg. Who's taken the out by Reyes and the, the number 15 seed holds. Yeah, so victory is so far today for the number 14 seed, Daryl Gurney. A semi-finalist in Gibraltar last time, Alan One Norris, also through Moving King and Michael Smith. And this time it's Aspinall rattling a 180 to start things off, as Reyes did in the first leg. Yeah, Michael Smith looked pretty useful. 60. He did. Very Ma smooth, very efficient on the doubles as well. Didn't hang around. Now then, Nathan Aspinall, five perfect darts. 125. And that is the extent of it as well. Yeah, the thing I made the point in commentary as well with Michael Smith is the fact that he had commanding leads in Gibraltar and he let them slip. He allowed his opponents back in. And I think he learned from that. I think he was conscious of that when he was playing today. Never really gave the decker a sniff. Got one on the board in the end. Yeah, he, he looked pretty ominous to dear Michael Smith. He looked like he didn't even want to give Mike the decker any scraps out of his bag of chips. 
Nothing wrong with being selfish. I tweeted earlier today that I don't like the apologetic culture of the dark player at the moment. I think he should be selfish. Get on with it. Get it won. You don't have to apologise for being good. And 86. We've got two great players here. And it's going on through at the moment, which is what you expect from quality players. As you know, Rob, in tennis, it's all about holding your serve and yeah. striking off serve. 52. When the opportunity presents. Like I said, Aspinall not convincing on doubles yesterday. Six from 20. And he's messed 20. that up as well. So you go on 146. So he's just opened the door slightly here for Christo Reyes. Well, again, he was looking for the two treble visit. The two treble 19s and double 16. That says to me, in the first two legs, that he's 96. looking to leave double 16 as much as he possibly 30. can. Well, Nathan Espinall left himself double 16 after a Burnley messy Christo visit last time out, but he's back on level terms at one apiece. Espinall playing only his second European Tour event of the year. He made it to the German Open one in Saarbrücken. And once again, for the third successive leg, we start off with a ton 80. Reyes in the first, Espinall in the second, Reyes in the third. No pressure, Nathan. It's your turn next. But I say this to you, Rob, we play a lot of darts in Germany. We've got Austria in a couple of weeks. 43. We're going to Maastricht. No treaties there, you never know. We're going to Denmark next year. Really looking forward to going to Scandinavia for the first time in the European 100. Tour. Yeah, I mean, well, I made the point yesterday. The uh, fact we're in Hamburg, it's only about 120 k's from uh, the Danish border. And there are some Danish fans here, even though there's no Danish representation. 96. I noticed a few of the red and white flags outside as we left last night milling around and there's a real appetite for the sport in Denmark with the likes of Pale House and, yeah. and uh, you know they've been making a something of an impression in the Nordic Baltic qualifiers that's only a matter of time before we go to Sweden maybe Finland 100. even Russia because they're starting to get better but I'll say this to you we've got someone from Tenerife on stage well, I don't know about the visa for Russia Paul it could be, could be, <laughs> could be a problem for one or two it's like trying to read the entire encyclopedia of the Church of Scientology. I can tell you, it's not the cheapest place to get to or indeed live in for three days either. <laughs> anyway. Double 16 for Reyes. And he leaves it and hits it. Here we go, Nathan. Come on, give us a 180. 180 to start things off for the fourth successive leg. Here we go. Wrong side of the bed. 123. Good effort. Not far. Three trebles. Maybe Reyes will start off with a ton 80. No, he won't. Another thing I wanted to say as well. Look at the setup of Crystal Reyes, which hasn't really changed since he burst onto the circuit, World Championship, a couple of years back. 44. But there's an element of old school about what he throws. A very short, bulbous barrel and a lot of grey and white there. It almost looks like the late and recent setup of the late 70s. And there's nothing wrong with that. It looks really, really cool to me. But both guys here throwing a very similar setup. Short, bulbous barrel, long stem, big flight. These guys, when they get going, can score very, very heavily. Aspinall seems to pitch himself up as well, doesn't he, on his on his throw at the at the very tail end of it. 140. Just see if we can get a shot of his footwork as he does so. And that's how it's landing. We've got some very famous Reyes hoppers on the hockey, but 64. maybe we can come back to that. Because potentially Reyes can hit this. I want to leave double 16 once more. 96. Nathan, you but this 115 is under pressure. Indeed. Because Reyes is lurking and waiting in the wings on 68. Ooh. 96. Well, he wasn't really so you 68. He didn't leave anything behind, did he? 68. He might go treble 12, you know. Or maybe not, he'll go double four. Oh, what a finish. That is lethal. Yeah. Reflect Christo to throw fast. Aspinall leading himself the 5-19s. He wasn't able to find them. And Reyes pounces. Just thinking then with those 5-19s, Aspinall, if he could have brought in Michael 60. Smith on alone. With one shot. <laughs> is that going to be a thing, is it? You know, Tag team darts. Like a joker. You can nominate one player to come in and take a check out for you. I'll tell you what, I'll take Mark Webster on double ten. Well, talking of Mark Webster, he was one of the victims of uh, Nathan Espinall in qualifying. Number 13 seed in qualifying, beaten 6-3 uh, by Espinall. Now it's Reyes. Oh, 
Pulls in another 180. I'll tell you another thing as well, with Reyes being the 15th seed, there's one thing he doesn't want to do, and he doesn't want to have to go back to qualifying for these events. He wants to stay seeded. He wants to have the guarantee of playing in these events. And in order to do that, he's got to win matches. 100. Well, as I said, he's uh, he's been consistent this year. If you see what I mean, four third oh, round appearances to see one second round appearance where he lost to Ul Seder, of course, six three. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that Crystal did not really turn 95. up that day. Now, he didn't play his best at all, and it leaves him. Well, we'll just see if Aspinall can take this out. 78 away. Yep, he's found the treble 18 as well for double 12. Hey, sure, nice to the done. fifth leg, Nathan Aspinall. Let me tell you, when yeah. Reyes is sitting on 66 Six and he's just broken reverse. you, that Eight is on. a world-class finish from a very handy young man. Yeah, very, very effective indeed. Very eye-catching stuff. And to break back straight away, it was uh, important for uh, Aspinall to do 96. that. He couldn't really afford to establish any daylight uh, between the two, or to see any daylight established between the two. Uh, but yeah, Reyes, talking of his uh, European 58. performance so far, four third-round appearances. 13th in the European Order of Merit, so he's handily placed for qualification already. But as you say, he needs to keep winning matches to make sure he doesn't have to go down that route of qualifying as he had to do all those times last year as well. Which he did very well, by the way. I mean, he did come through qualifying more often than not uh, throughout the course of 2016. 140. Those qualifiers aren't getting any easier. And the thing is, you want guarantees. You want to be able to book your flights, especially when you live in Tenerife, yeah, I was gonna say, way in advance. He's got the added hassle of like it. Well, uh, the, he's, the logistics he's, of it all, yeah. He's got the same manager as me, Christo, so the likelihood is he'll probably get his flight information the day before he flies. Yes. No offence, Mr. Yes. Lazar. <laughs> Mind you, that said, if he misses his flight, also the problem. At least he can console himself with staying in Tenerife for another day or two. I was going to say, that's a perfect location for European Tour darts. So we could have some home nation qualifiers from Spain. We can get some Euro guys sticking some shorts on and maybe getting the same sort of suntans they get in Gibraltar. So not content with enforcing everyone to go and get a visa for Russia and spending 1,500 <laughs> quid on flights for a three-day trip to Moscow or St. Petersburg. Nicholson now wants us to go to Tenerife as well. Anyway, Aspinall, Different game now. Rufus. Last two legs, Aspinall has been fantastic on doubles. Yeah, giving himself right chances. Definitely under pressure here now, the uh, Spartan, number 15. 140. Yeah, we talked about Russia because the fact that the Russians did so well in the World Cup last week. Boris Koltsov and Alexander Oreshkin. Yeah, they're starting to really carry Russian darts forward. And that's what we need other nations to do. They need to stand up and be counted. And the Spaniards did that seven years ago in the World Cup. So get your chance, take it. Next thing you know, you could have a tournament there. Yeah. I still think the PDC will take some for the tournament in Russia, though. Never say never. Unless FIFA get involved. Uh, Reyes, 2-2-1 two, two, away here. Minus these. 140. That's a great answer from Reyes. It really is. It is. Aspinall, lose first start as well. Looking to make up some ground here with these next two. 85. So you require 81. Well. Still with work to do, Aspinall. Well, he had a little bit of a think on that 79 because he looked at Nathan Aspinall's score. 153 is a big one, but it's still possible. 19. Four, double 18. Oh, Game shot. would you believe it? Nathan little wonder Mike the Decker and Chris Dobie are watching on absolutely aghast. That was absolutely breathtaking. Special, special work. From the man from the northwest of England, exasperating celebrations and a kick right in the stones for the Spartan. He can't 58. breathe. Absolutely sublime from Nathan Aspinall. I think the crowd, the, the crowd just fell silent, absolutely stunned that he pulled that one off. Because you're travelling all over the board with that one as well. Yeah, that's one of the tricky ones. And when Reyes 60. is waiting, lurking, and when you well, yeah. when you have been 3-1 down to put yourself in control at 4-3 like that I'll tell you what that is really eye-catching stuff 
99. Glad to see him give it the full works as far as the celebration was concerned as well. Even Doby and Dedeka down there just look absolutely shell -shocked. 96. I'm trying to figure out. I think I've actually got this right. That's the only way you can take that shot. Yeah, I was just doing a quick sum in the head beforehand. And I thought he might have gone for the 19th first oh, because no, then he would have been 2018. That, yeah. that, was, that was the other thing as well. The fact that he went north south and then back north again. Oh, he played all right yesterday 100. against Chris Quantock, but he's playing even better today. 100 and, that, 100 and change is better than we've seen from Nathan Aspinall, I think, ever on the European tour. 100. Well, he didn't really have any big checkouts yesterday, uh, Nathan Aspinall against uh, Chris Quantock in that quick fire win. But he's certainly got 145. one today. 145! And he's down to 104 as well, albeit on his throat. Mm. He was looking for that as well, wasn't he, for double 16, but... Clever work from Reyes, hitting that 25. He could give himself two shots 100. at tops, only if he can hit the 60. My instincts say tops, tops. One down. 80. Didn't give it enough juice. Nathan, you require eight. That was the Alan Norris route, wasn't it, before in his match against Cantilli. Double four then here for Aspinall for a 5-3 lead. Double two. Six. Ooh, that was a long way inside. That was a very Bruce, nervous so you start. Require 20. That was more reminiscent of what was happening yesterday early in the match with Chris Quantock. Reyes all of a sudden. There is a lot riding on this double five. A shot in the eighth leg. The What's the response from Spartan? It's another break back. I'll tell you what, Reyes has got some lungs on him because we've got headphones on and I heard that one. That was a scream from the Spartan. Does he want to win I this match? I think so. Royfers. I think even George Noble, the referee, has got to be enjoying this. What a great match. Yeah, two breaks apiece now as well. Reyes broke first in leg four. Aspinall responded. Aspinall breaking again in the seventh and Reyes 100. responding again straight away to level things up. It's been that sort of encounter. Nobody has been able to establish a, a significant foothold in this one. It's an absolute joy In a very different way to say, I mean, obviously last night it was a privilege watching the Adrian Lewis match, but this is gripping in a, in a very different way. Absolutely. That's the beautiful thing about darts. We've had so many different types of great matches this weekend so far, 60. and I don't think it'll be the last, but talk about the swings of adrenaline and mood in one game of darts, even two legs. 96. Look at the celebration from Aspinall, takes that big finish, next leg, next thing you know, he's missing doubles, and it's the other guy who's screaming. This is very watchable stuff. 100. Yeah, made the case yesterday for having a a new rule to win by two legs in 81. matches that are, you know, promising to be epics. And I wouldn't mind seeing a, this one just go on a little bit longer. I'll tell you what, if the game between Lewis and Vanderbilt from last night, if that had been best of 19, it might have been a slightly different match. <laughs> yeah. Just left himself with a little bit too much to do 60. with the two-time world champion. 107. Well, this one again in the balance could be... A leg that goes either way. Can Reyes seize the initiative here? Well, Aspinall will be back. And, mm. Nathan, you're 124. Could have done with a, a better final dart than that as well, just to give himself a better chance. Treble 18 for Bullseye, but Reyes no, well, It's so one of those finishes you really fancy, 1-3-4, and he'll be gutted that he hasn't had a chance. Double 18 for the Spaniard. A it's there, the ninth leg. a classy finish when your opponent's sitting Turn on the double. To throw first. Squeaky Game bum one. time for both guys now. Can Reyes cross the line or can Nathan sprint for it? 121. Yeah, Aspinall being watched by two of the young guns, both out of the tournament. They'll be losing yesterday to uh, Peter Jakes, who's on stage later. Easy. This afternoon against Ian White. Uh, the winner of this, by the way, to face either Peter Wright or John Michael in the third round tomorrow. Peter Wright looking for a fourth Euro title this year. Kim Hybrex and 66. Peter Hudson on stage next. Just waiting a little longer backstage to uh, make their way out. Yeah, this stay tuned. For go a long way. Stay tuned for the uh, Strictly Come Darting later. There's going to be a dance-off between John Michael and Peter Wright. Oh, uh, yeah.
set aside 15 minutes for that one. <laughs> this one could go the distance here. Aspinall. 120. With 120. Making the most of throwing first so far, but Reyes will look just to hang on to the coattails here of Nathan Aspinall. 140. And he's done precisely that. Hasn't quite won over the darts just yet, but if Aspinall flusses his lines here, Reyes may well sense an opportunity. And Aspinall, well, single seven, he's dropped his darts on the floor. Yeah, deep breath. 44. Mm, now then, Reyes. Big chance. Eyes lighting up here. That's what he wanted. That adjustment gives him chances. 87. But that Maybe 7 almost brings the game towards Nathan Aspinall a bit. Yeah. Well, he's still potentially two darts away, but... 46. Well, that could have been better as well so you require Nathan Aspinall. 98. Put 20. some pressure on. 78 away then. Well, Aspinall will be back. 38. If you call James Weird's favourite finish, 104. There's the four. Oh. Tops it is for five each. Yeah, oh, sure he's got it. We're going all the way. Nathan Aspinall. And this game deserved it. It did. And even Here's though final leg, Chris it Ogie's wasn't the first pass he wanted, he really Game recovered on. well there. And a 104 checkout to go with the very impressive 153. And let's not forget the 98 checkout as well for the first play of throw that he pulled off. You know, his finishing today has been a lot, lot better than it was yesterday. That's nice proof that George Noble's definitely enjoying this. Even the referee's got a smell on his face. 59 from Reyes, met with... 40. ...from Aspinall. Said it time and time again, these kinds of games, hundreds become gold dust, but this is even better. 140. What... Can Nathan do in reply? 85. Well, he's just giving himself a talking yeah. to. 74 drift plus these. This is, at the moment, Reyes' leg and match to 92. lose. 92. Well, he needs two trebles here, and he ain't going to get them. 60. And he's not even found one. Reyes is now a very, very firm favourite to reach the third round once again on the European Tour this year, especially with darts like this. 145. Well, he's paled the pressure on Aspinall since the very first dart of this leg. But now, 140. he needed everything there, really, because I can't 65. see Reyes missing with six darts for not, 65. Not from here. Two darts he needs, or two darts he's got. He's got two bites at double top here. Four, a 6-5 win, and the agony goes on, but he will return. He'll return and be under pressure. The biggest pressure possible. Chris, Good dart, Nathan. 40. What have you got, Christo? Yeah, You've yeah, got double shot. top right in the corner. And, the match and there it is. Christo Reyes looks to deliver a 6-5 result, especially when he wins it. Nathan will be disappointed, but we'll see more of him later in the season, I am sure. Crystal Reyes goes through to play Peter Wright or John Michael, who will play it later on in tonight's session. The crowd having a little bit of free from desire, but we will hear from the Spaniard in a few moments time. Join us for the next game, which is Kim Hybrex and The Rock, Peter Hudson. und Christo Reyes. Ein 6 zu 5 Erfolg. Und Christo und ich, wir haben unser altes Problem. Ich kann